so let's look at another thing that may then happen and that's another detail that's something sometimes interesting to know because it might have an impact on performance so what happens in a computer system if a particular memory address is requested let's assume we're interested in page 32 so what happens well we now are storage hierarchy by now but um, what computer systems usually also have is a little extra cache so this is not contained in L1, L2, or L3 or something like that. It's, it's an extra little cache. It's called the translation look aside buffer. Translation look aside buffer. Okay, TLB. And this keeps a subset of the mappings from virtual memory to physical memory. So whenever you're interested in a particular address, say page 32, what the operating system does, it first looks at that TLB, whether it happens to have that page 32. So if that's not the case, and we don't have a mapping of virtual page 32, the page table, this prefix structure has to be consulted. So this page table or this prefix structure, however it looks like, also sits in the standard memory hierarchy. It's managed by the operating system and um, or you could also re-implement parts of that by the database system but basically it boils down to having that data in the standard storage hierarchy and therefore the same problems may occur as with the standard storage hierarchy that is in the worst case we have to go to main memory to look up that mapping first. We have to retrieve this mapping so if this mapping from logical page number 32 to physical page number 56 doesn't exist in the translation look aside buffer, the operating system first has to fetch that mapping. And if this mapping is not existent in any of the caches, it may mean that we have to go to main memory. So just fetching the mapping may result in 60 nanoseconds of latency. We just pay to fetch the mapping. So we have one time 60 nanoseconds. Okay, just for fetching this mapping. But then, of course, once we have the mapping, it might also be the case that the physical page we want to access, and that is physical page number 56 in this example, is not in any of the caches. So maybe again we have to go to main memory and we again have to pay the price for 1 times 60 nanoseconds. So in total just for accessing a single address we have two times the memory latency here. And these numbers maybe don't look so scary to you. Hey this is 120 nanoseconds, who cares, right? But if you have many, many accesses in a computer program and a data managing system like that, those numbers may add up pretty quickly and may really, really slow down your computation. So it's important to be aware of that effect. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Thank you. So if you want to see more database videos, be it in English or in German, take a look at my website Datenbankenlernen it has a couple of English and German videos. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel Jens Did, or you look at our website infosys.uni-saarland.de. See you there!